He says, For whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son. You want to talk about predestination? There it is. When you come into Christ, you have changed your destiny and you have now become predestined to the end result of being conformed to the image of his son. Right? That's predestination. Right? Not predestined to heaven or hell. That's your choice. But once you come into the kingdom of God, now coming into the kingdom of God, you become predestined at that moment to become or be conformed to the image of his dear son. It's just like joining the military. When you join the military, the minute you raise your hand and you say that oath, at that moment, you become predestined to be conformed to the image of a soldier according to the image that the military has for a soldier. Do you get that? Now, you can work with that or you can work against it. And if you work against it, your life is going to be hard. Now, if we can get Christians to understand that. Your life is to be predestined, you were predestined to be conformed to the image of his son. And because of that, you can work with him to conform or you can work against him. But if you're going to work against him, guess what? Life ain't going to be easy. Amen? I'm not saying it's going to be easy if you work with him. I'm just saying it's going to be a lot harder if you work against him. All right? Now, <clears throat> notice here. He says, For whom he did foreknow, he also pre did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his Son, that he, he, Jesus, might be the firstborn among many brethren. So the goal is for him to have many brethren, and these brethren have to be conformed to his image to look like him. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called. And whom he called, them he also justified. And whom he justified, them he also glorified. So if you are justified, let, let's say it this way. If you are saved, then you are predestined to be conformed to the image of his son. If you are saved. Now notice here, if you are saved, then notice what he says. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called. So if he predestinated, in this sense, if you came to him, then you're also called. Do you get that? Because, well, see, we look at called like, well, I'm not called. Well, what do you mean? Well, you know, I'm not an apostle, prophet, evangelist, pastor, teacher. I'm, you, I, I'm, not, I'm not called. Okay. The Bible doesn't talk about called like that necessarily. When he says we're called, see, the church literally means ecclesia. It, what that means is called out ones. So if you're not called, you're not a called out one, which means you're not born again. The minute you get born again, you have been called out of the world. So you are called, number one, to come out of the world, touch not the unclean thing, come to him, isn't that right? And he will receive you, right? And you'll become his son and daughter, and he will become your God, your father. Amen? But you are called. And once you're called, now here's the thing. God, Jesus never called anybody that he didn't eventually send. Uh-oh. <laughs> gotcha. No, okay. <laughs> 